And hello my enchiladas, my love muffins. It is Tori the Hope Dilla of Guided Intuition, honey. And I am here to do your daily guidance, your daily spiritual message, all right? Your daily reflection, depending on what part of the world you stay on, my babies, and what time you are seeing this. But nonetheless, I am here with it. And whenever this message shows up in your life, that is when it's for you because there are no timelines in the spirit realm, honey, all right? So I hope that you guys are having a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous day, morning, night, okay? I hope that my love muffins, that you took the time to meditate, all right? Set some positive affirmations. Watch something that will feed your spirit, all right? That will keep you throughout this day, all right? I hope that my love muffins, you are ready, did some mirror magic, all right? Looked in that mirror or turned this phone around to selfie mode, honey. Even you laying down, sitting down, work, go to the bathroom, step outside, get a little corner by yourself and just really love on you. Acknowledge how amazing you are. Or even if you can't get to a mirror or a phone, just say that to yourself. Just hug yourself and say, I love you so freaking much, all right? Just realize you know, sometimes um, we can just get so busy and we're just so used to just, you know, giving, giving that we don't take that time just to give to ourselves. All right. We can just get and it doesn't even have to be that you're doing it on purpose. You just get busy. Always find the time to pause, acknowledge you, acknowledge your growth, acknowledge your, you know, whatever you're experiencing, just love on you and acknowledge whatever you're going through. All right. Whatever it is, just have those conversations with yourself. Despise how you feel you are doing more than enough. You are enough. I love the way that you are just being, okay? Just have those conversations with yourself, all right? I know people, like, probably think I'm crazy because, honey, like, I don't care. Like, I really be having these conversations with myself, and I... It has helped me so much. So just really love on yourself today. Just really acknowledge who you are, where you are right now at the core. Okay? Just really love on you, honey. And I'm, I'm telling you guys this because, you know, yesterday was my birthday. And thank all of you amazing souls. It was just like, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, y'all really like love me, love me? Like, love me, love me? Oh my God. And it was just so beautiful for everyone that took the time, honey, to like wish me happy birthday. You guys are amazing. The You know, like, you. oh my God. It was just so, just so much love. Like, like so much love. Like, it was just incredible from the gifts, from the donations to the, just the popping in my emails, letting me know what I mean to you in the comment section, letting me, letting me know what guided and submission means to you and just what I mean to you and just us meaning to each other. It was just so beautiful, y'all. I was crying. <laughs> I was crying and I was just so thankful. I just was so thankful. So I want to let somebody know, like, do not just keep going. All right. Keep going because yesterday was so like so surreal to me, you know, because I heard someone say, you know, why did you post on your birthday? You know, you should have took the, took the day off. And girl, yes, listen, um, the thing about it is when you are passionate, when you do something that you love every day, it doesn't feel like work. This is not work. You and me coming together every day, all right, honey, or whenever we do come together, this is not work. It's, it can't be work when, you, when you're passionate about it and you're doing something that you love. Now I see that concept. It's not work. Like, I can never not get enough of it. I'm always thinking of things and ways and different readings. Like, y'all, I have, like, so many lists of readings that I'm going to do. That spirit just gave me when I was you know, when I was in meditation, and um, I, I seen that for a lot of you, you really liked that. Um, you know what's blocking you from love. There's a lot of things that spirit has placed on my heart as far as rejection, just all these things that I want to do that I'm going to be doing some readings on. So it's never work with y'all. Like the energy is equal exchange. Like it's love on love. Like I just love you guys so freaking much. And I hope you realize how amazing you are. And I, I'm not just telling you this. Like I feel an energy, a vibe. You can't lie. Vibes and energies don't lie, honey. And this shit is real. This shit is so real. I'm sitting where I was imagining my life, the things that I have in my life. And I'm looking at a long time ago. I, I can't stress this. Where this was, I just didn't believe that this was possible to wake up and, and, and do everything that I love and have real clients, you know. 
um, people that I meet with on a daily basis, you know, it's, it's just crazy. Um, getting, you know, sponsorships or just getting people wanting me to come and speak at events. It's just crazy. It's just, it's phenomenal. It's freaking phenomenal. So I want to let somebody know, all right, keep going because the seeds that you are planting, whether you see them sprouting right now, honey, those seeds are growing. Those seeds have took root, taken root, honey. You just keep watering it. You just keep doing, you know, loving it, giving it light. All right. Being patient with it, being kind, showing compassion. And I promise you it will sprout. It will grow. It will bloom. It will do all those things. It's processes. Okay. And, um, I ask spirit, what is the overall energy of today all right what is the overall energy you know for today on this beautiful beautiful friday or whatever day that you're watching this okay we have the seven of pentacles can you see that man my light be doing the most sometimes hold on guys all right there we go <laughs> so it's the seven of pentacles and um this people this is what i see okay this is what spirit is um, really letting, wanting me to, to get across today. That there are some, everything takes time. Everything is a process, okay? So these seeds that you have planted and you are waiting are ready to sprout, okay? Find the beauty in waiting, okay? Do you know what I mean by that? <laughs> All right, um... Sometimes we can take, just get so excited about, um, you know, the future. Okay, like for, I'll use this. I'll use this example, okay? I was so asphyxiated on like getting married, getting in a relationship, like finding the one. However, um, I'm like, okay, sorry, when you get married, then what, you know? All right, because like there's a process, you know, there's when you meet this person, you guys connect, you guys spend time together, you know, um, all the good stuff that hap was, happens in the middle um, of falling in love or getting married. OK, I used to, you know, um, you know, kind of like just rush all over that. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but maybe someone can identify, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But I was just so officiated on the relationship, okay? But I just, you know, getting there. And I feel like sometimes, um, you know, that can have a... I skip the middle and just getting to the, the good stuff. But it's the it's the middle that gets to the good stuff. It's like baking a cake. You know, you got to crack the eggs, put the flour, the milk, get all the ingredients, you know, get all the supplies. Then you're stirring it, mixing it, doing all that good stuff. Then you're popping it in the oven. Then you are, um, you know you know, icing it, layering it, cutting it in the shapes, whatever you're doing. And then, you know, then you eat it. Okay. But I feel as though someone is just focused just solely on the cake and, um, just, um, there's beauty in the process of making the cake or there's beauty in the process before you, you get to that grand finale. You don't want to miss that beauty. And, um, this is what spirit wants you. Cause I feel like whatever is this around and sprouting. Okay. With the seven of pentacles. Your focus is just on, you know, maybe in a sense of, okay, this is good, but there needs to be more, you know? And remember we talked about comparison yesterday and just really not comparing comparing your process and, and your plan or your tree to somebody else's. So definitely this energy today is just, um, just know that in due timing, the seeds that you are planting, all right, they will take sprout. They will bloom, all right? But there's a process that happens in order for these things to grow. What you just need to do is come into the, keep in this um, eight of pentacles energy, keep working, keep watering, keep whatever it is, whether it's a relationship, whether it's in your finances, whether it's when you, in yourself, okay? Some big thing, some big vision, some big dream that you can touch, you know, that you can see, you can, you know, you can feel it within you, but you can't quite touch it yet. Or, or the totality of it. Spirit is just saying, keep going on this path, all right? Keep, just keep working towards it because it's definitely going to sprout, all right? It's definitely going to um, take root. It's definitely going to bloom. But just know that these seeds that you are planting now are valuable, all right? Because it's going to bring you joy. A lot of, a lot of joy. The things that you do today, Okay? All right, I want to read something to you guys, okay? And it definitely, just remember this. The secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. 
All right. So just keep going forth. Keep planting those seeds. All right. And they are definitely going to sprout. And it says we create with our thoughts, beliefs. OK. And um, expectations. I always mess that word up. <laughs> expectations. We create by repeating the behavior patterns that feel comfortable whether or not they are productive. So also, I want to let somebody know, don't don't get miscrewed, okay? Because like I told you, maybe you're comparing your growth or whatever it is or the love you desire and maybe people it's you know the holidays and you're seeing certain things and you're like, "Okay, what's going on?" Listen, you're on that path. All right? Just keep working, keep going. You're see, you know, you never know how long they were they've been at this or they've been doing something. All right? Because let me tell you something. Before I even got to, you know, guided intuition and just able to um, just really provide for myself on this level, it took me, because and depending on who you are, but it took me three years to really wrap my head around the fact that, okay, okay, maybe this is possible for me. You know, I'm not saying it doesn't take you that. It may take you like six months to get grabbed that, but for me, the the thoughts that I had that wasn't planned, I mean, it took me three years to just like, okay, well, you know what, let's just, let's just try this thing out, you know, let's just see. You know, <laughs> all right. So someone needs to know that. And this is the overall energy of this beautiful day. And I truly believe because sometimes things can happen in life in relationships and people. All right. That um, will make you question the seeds that you have planted, the things that you have planted, or it will make you reroute or start speaking the opposite of what you want to see. And we have to know that. Um, you are a mighty manifester, all right? So um, so as a man speaketh, so is he. No matter what you believe in, all right? We have all heard that, all right? We have to speak it into existence. So you want to be mindful of just, you know, what you're speaking. Just keep speaking those seeds of prosperity, those seeds of love, those seeds of abundance. And that is what is going to reap, all right? That's what you're going to reap, okay? Keep working on your joy, all right? Just keep going. I want to tell you that because I'm, I'm telling you and um, just I know sometimes the process of, you know, just really getting there. It can just be a little difficult or you just read antsy. You just want it to hurry up and come. But there is so much beauty on your journey. All right. So, you know, maybe you can change your um, you can change your change the instead of looking at something you can, you know, maybe change the way that you're perceiving it or looking at it. All right. Change the direction of where your energy and your focus is going towards. You all right? <laughs> all right. Because I feel like I'm just feeling that energy of just, you know, there are some things, some great, beautiful seeds and things that you've planted in it. And it's maybe starting to kick off or some things probably are happening or, you know, you're just questioning a process. And spirit is just saying, no, 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 no. You on the right path. Listen. All right. Maybe they printed their, their, their seeds six months ago. You know, you're uh, holding yourself to someone who's been doing something all their life or they've been doing this a while. And you're like, maybe we'll just say three, 10 days in, like a year in. Chill. Listen, it's a process. Don't beat yourself up, all right? You just keep going your pace, all right? Me and my sister was talking about this today, this morning. We have like a, we drink our tea, honey. Literally, we drink our tea together. Um, we Sometimes I don't even drink it because we end up talking. Our, our conversations go so deep. I'm just so thankful to have <laughs> a sister. Sisters who get me and grab me. Like, we can go on these levels. And we were just talking about, um, you know, you know, sometimes each small step, okay, Every small step counts. And what I'm noticing, what's going wrong with, with this shift in this energy, you have definitely been, you know, pouring in and doing what it, what's necessary for you, whatever you define that is for you to live your best life and really be who you at your core. And with this shift, with all this work that you've been doing in yourself, I'm pretty sure that some of you, because me, me, me myself, I've experienced it all in different ways. But you know, like when, um, you know, you've been washing the pot or you've been doing something and, or like you've been clearing, digging something out, you've been clearing it out and you get to the bottom, you got to scrape the pan and it might feel a little bit uncomfortable. It's like, what the fuck is going on? You know, or are you just seeing certain things that are just like, you know, well, wow, you know, um, <laughs> listen, just keep going. Okay. Keep going. It's just getting that last bit that needs to, you know, that's maybe that little bit of fear or that little bit of anxiety or that little bit of doubt of who you are and the love that you deserve is just really going ahead and, you know, moving that out of the way. So you can just really be who you are at your core. So you can 
really be consistent or you know and and drop per what's that word procrastination i always fuck that word up you know and just really about yourself and about your dreams and about your goals all right these situations um turn up and one of the things that you know i realized i'm just going to talk about it because you know i'm a firm believer I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be very honest with you guys you know and um you know you know i like to share everything with y'all and one of these things that i realized is um when I say it's lonely at the top, okay, <laughs> when you are really flowing your passion, when you're really honoring yourself, when you're really doing what you desire, it's crazy because I'm like, you know, people are dropping off like flies, you know, and I'm just like, what's going on? And um, that was one of the things that used to bother me. And um, I'm definitely, definitely, y'all believe me caring what someone's opinion or having the approval of another to go forth or in a, someone in agreement with me. However, when I came to guided intuition, this went against everything that, you know, people that I love, people that I vibed with, even in my friendships, because I, I put so much time into guided intuition. I really didn't have time to just like, you know, go out and, you know, do other things. And that, that became an issue. However, I had to pick and honor myself. And when you do that, all right, in entrepreneurship, some certain things people don't tell you. <laughs> it is, it, we, when I say it's lonely, it's just because not everyone understands what you're doing. And maybe you're experiencing that, you know, in love. Maybe, you know, you're, you know what you desire and you're not just settling. And someone is just not, you know, you, you're realizing that, damn, like it hasn't came yet. Don't get weary. Listen. I'm about to say girl, because you know we talking girls. Mm -hmm. But I do have some. I felt my fellas watch my channel. Hello, you know. But um, men and women, my babies, my muffins. Listen, don't settle. All right, your standards are not too high. You're not asking for too fucking much. No, you're not asking for too much. You are asking for what you give, and there's nothing wrong with that. All right. In your job, in your finances, you want to wake up and do something where it doesn't even feel like work. This is work, but it doesn't feel like work. I'm happy. I'm passionate about it. I can never get enough of guided intuition. I'm so thankful and happy. All right? And you deserve that too in all areas of your life. And certain things and certain people are going to go and you're going to feel like, you know, um, alone. However, you need to be comfortable with being alone. All right. And I have, you know, gotten really comfortable with that. Um, and it, it took it, it took it took me it took a process. All right. It, it took a process of really being comfortable, <laughs> you know, by yourself. And you realize because in your alone time, you're alone with your thoughts. And sometimes people someone's fearing the, the, the being alone. I really feel that. And you're not alone. All right. On the feeling alone. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> because I, too, had to go through that process. But in that alone time is where you're going to find, in that alone time is how I found myself, reconnected with my purpose, reconnected with who I am, reconnected with my dreams, figured out what I want, figure out what's best for me, really got to spend time and really feel like, fit, um, figure out that I'm an amazing fucking person, you know, that I'm like, oh God, you're dope. You know, I had to do that. So it's a process and things are falling off, you know, so you can reconnect I don't know why we're going with spirit wants to say it. You're going to reconnect with people that get you and understand you. All right. Just understand it's a process. All right. Keep going, though, on that path so you can get the love that you desire. That's truly a reflection of you. The friends that are truly a reflection of you. The abundance that truly is a reflection of you. Just keep going. All right. <laughs> so now that we have that, we can get in this. I'm going to pause this so I don't. All right, I had to go off camera to like um, straighten the cards up because, you know, I'll be sitting here trying to line them up. You, the, that damn perfectionist, that Sagittarius in me, <laughs> you know, you know, we like them. I'm like, oh, my God, like it's leaning. I'm like, OK, anyways, going back. So um, that is the overall energy of um, the day. OK, and the daily message, the daily spiritual guidance that spirit has for you in this moment of time, wherever you are. OK, um, we have the four of um the four of cups, okay? And um, <clears throat> I like this because sometimes um, if you look in this cup, sometimes we're so focused on um, something or we're, 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 we're so zoomed in. 
that we can't take the time to realize the beauty around us okay so i feel like there's a situation that you're really zoomed in on all right that you've really been giving your energy your focus okay you've really been pondering you've really been thinking about it all right um listen spirit wants you to know that you have the strength i feel as though there's like something that you're wanting to do some something that you're really passionate about all right and sometimes we get in our mind and we'll we'll weigh the pros and the cons of the situation i'm not saying it's not good to do that but you know before we know we didn't talk our damn self out of something like you know what no nah, it ain't really the best time for all of that all right and um i think that that's more so you wanting to stay in your comfort zone with something. But at the end of the day, your comfort zone sometimes, and especially whoever <laughs> this is. All right. This is a common denominator. We, ha we have, um, we're a reflection of each other. Me and you, <laughs> you and I, we, we came here. We didn't come here to no live a normal day-to-day -day life. You came here to be, um, <sighs> to really, really, really. Do something that you're passionate about, okay? Whether it's in a relationship or anything, passion and to feel fulfillment and passion, all right? And I feel as though your comfort zone, whatever you're used to, whatever the ordinary is, all right, it's not, it's kind of an bored, you know, it's more so out of a comfort zone, more so out of safety or security that you're staying in a situation or, you know, that you're in, you're doing something. However, you have the strength to really say, throw caution to the wind, go forth, plant those seeds, sprout it, keep watering it. All right. To come into this four of um, wands energy. We know the four of wands is all about a celebration of some sort. Happiness, where your passion is, you know, where you, what your happiness is. All right. But I feel like there is with the devil card, there is a sense of you not believing that you're capable or that, you know, this is really for you. And I know that feeling all too well. And you can really do this. And I feel like this is what whatever is showing up in your life right now. All right. Whatever you're experiencing, it's really helping you shed this energy because in 2019, there is no more bare minimal. There's no more comfort zone. It's all about dancing with our dreams, honey. On the edge with our dreams is all about best lives, honey. It's all about asking for over and beyond, honey. There's no more. Nah, I talked about that yesterday. There's no more of that. It's just truly you realizing your power and your place that you are the magician. And some people use this as, you know, when I see the magician, that means you lack nothing. All right. There's nothing that you don't lack. All right. There's nothing that you, you don't have to, to, to make whatever you desire to come about because with this infinity sign over here, that is a sign of love. That is the extension. That is source with you, power, powering you, giving you what it, what it, whatever it is you need. You see the pentacle, the rose, the cup, you know, the sword, the wand, you have everything. You lack nothing. And I really feel like this is the energy that spirit wants you to grab today. Really, you become aware of your power because there, there is magic in you. All right. And like I told you, you have the judgment card. So justice will be done. Whatever the situation is, you're feeling like a little anxiety over, you know, um, whatever it is. The judgment. And I love this card. To, to me, it's like, um, you know, I like to say karma. And I feel like the seeds that you have planted have, have been good, has been pure. So why wouldn't you reap? Okay, let me tell you something. You, you plant fucking orange seeds, guess what that tree is? It's an orange. It ain't giving you apples. You want apples? You got to plant apples. Y'all about to laugh at me, but I was eating a pineapple and I seen the seed in the pineapple and I was like, oh my God, pineapples have seeds. And my sister's like, are you serious? How could you say do pineapples have seeds? I know. Don't judge me. Okay. Anyways, I just want to tell you, sometimes I do have my moments. <laughs> I do have my a moment, but I was, I really didn't believe that. But anyways, going back here, we're having the five of um, cups energy. And I feel like sometimes you're just, you're focused on the loss, you know, like for me, I was just like, wow, you know, I just didn't really expect, <laughs> you know, for certain people to like, you know, leave or certain things or people to react the way they did, especially when I flow in love. But the thing is, you're so busy focusing on something, something, you know, um, the spill that you're not aware of, you know, that you have two cups here that you can work with. 
All right. There's there's something here. All right. It's time to stop focusing on what is, you know, what was and what is. All right. Yeah, that's done. But you have you have something right here to look forward to. All right. And when you change your perspective, when you when you change your focus. All right. When you, you know, whatever. And I feel like maybe you've planted seeds and that garden, it really didn't sprout the way that you thought it was. So what? Get more seeds. OK, that wasn't what you, you know, you did. You wanted. Remember, I talked about that yesterday. I had planted seeds and they did sprout. And I realized, you know what? Yeah, no, nah, that's that's not I planted that seed out of fear. You know, no, nah, I'm good. I'll just start over. All right. And when you look at things like this, because at the end you have the sun card. Oh, my God. My little thing came apart. Um, we have the sun card. All right. And I want to read something to you about the sun. Um, but real before I read that to you guys, I want to actually talk about this card because you see all the yellow and the orange. All right. That is your sacral chakra and your solar plex. Your sacral chakra is your passions, your gifts, everything that feels good to you, honey. <laughs> all right. That's where the divine, you know, all of that goodness stays. And your solar plex right here is how you actually, um, you know, that's your confidence. You're able to share that and show that. <clears throat> okay. So I want to read something to you. With the sun, all right, it's all about your solar power, success, personal em empowerment, and health, all right? So I feel like whatever you're looking at, whatever you're helping, it's definitely, um, whatever you're looking at or facing is definitely helping you grow in these areas, all right? And just even whatever um that is showing up, I'm so sorry, guys, I need to take a sip of tea, honey. Let me get a sip real quick, Lord. I felt like it was hard, like <clears throat> it was choking me, <laughs> you know, um, I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of things that you desire to do, des desire to say in a relationship and your, um, you know, speak up about in your finances, just anything that you're placing your hands in. But maybe sometimes you get choked up and you really can't come out of it because um, of your your solar plex. All right. And your sacral chakra, which is your orange chakra and your um, yellow chakra and how you feed those chakras. All right. Is by um, you can do meditations, but you can also eat fruits and vegetables according to the color combination. That's my easiest. Oh, we're just talking about pineapples. Yellow. Oh, I just ate me like a whole pineapple yesterday. OK, anyways. Yeah. So I, I just want you to know that it's time for you to just really emerge, really shine because you are the sun. All right. And there's no more living in the shadows or dimming down your light. There's no more of that. All right. It's just it's just there's no there's no room for that in 2019, honey. <laughs> we we are coming out, honey. What's the song? I'm coming out. Hey, I want the world to know. Gotta let it show. Oh, my God. I, I had to stop because I was about to start singing, you know, um, you know, on the um, trolls, which like and she hits that the high note. I'm going to butcher. It, I don't care. It's like. She hit the high notes like show when she was dancing in the room. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let me draw back in. Let me draw back in. Let me draw back in. But yes, yeah, so I want you guys to go out and just really let your light shine. Let those passions, you know, really flow out of you. Okay. And just know that the seeds that you are planting now will sprout. All right. They will, you know, you will reap. They will, they will you will reap the benefits, okay? Just know who you are, all right? That you own the strength and the power. You have everything that you need and you lack nothing, all right? So I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you for all the birthday wishes and the well wishes. You guys are amazing, all right? And I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and so much peace. Go out. Be great. Hug a tree for me and you. Honey, it is raining like cats and dogs in Tampa. Um... Florida, honey. So, um, yeah, but I am going to go out and hug a tree. I'll, I got to hug one. I got to hug one. <laughs> All right. I just want to say that I love you guys. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I love muffins. Um, I do the month, not the monthlies, but the weekly, um, daily guidances Monday through Friday. Weekends are my time just to spend time with my family or do any little dallies, eat, lay in the bed and eat Cheerios. I don't know. Whatever I decide to do. That's what I, the time that I preserve for myself. So I love you and I will catch you on my channel. Take care.